Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services. And what I got today is a really cool tool that will save some headaches. So on your car, most people have these HID lights. Um, these are gas field or whatever some some metal insides burning and these lights then well, this is an LED but this stuff it's very easy to test it's just you can use a voltmeter and just test uh, whether it has the uh, continuity or you can put 12 volt and it'll light up with these, you can't do that because the amount of voltage that's needed to drive these things is 25,000 volts. Inside of your car, you have this little um, inverter that um, converts 12 volts into 25,000. So how do you test these if they work or not? Aside from sometimes you could just see it broken. Well, I got a system for you that you can use and it's not very expensive. Uh, let's see. It comes from the headlight. So if you go to the junkyard, like pull you apart and you can see a car with a smashed headlight you can find this unit inside there. On mine, it actually comes from Toyota, and uh, it's a five nine six seven five two zero two one, I believe, the part number. But it doesn't matter. But what's important about this thing is how you start driving it, meaning uh, how you connect electricity to it. Let's put my voltmeter into continuity testing so that all you have to do is take your voltmeter for continuity where it beeps uh, put one on the, the metal and the other one you check there's two connectors in here this one doesn't do anything and this one has continuity so that's your minus I just took a sharpie and marked which one's plus which one's minus that's all that's needed uh, these compo these uh, units are not complicated now some of them may be so you want to use for one you, you want to look for one that is not complicated just two leads plus and minus what do we do then uh, there is not a simple power supply that you can use to drive these because they take a lot of energy i have this thing that's a car starter so let's turn it on we'll use the black lead for come on for minus a red lead for plus just make sure you don't short anything all right, now we can test our, let's see, our regular light, it'll actually light up. Uh, this one is not uh, HID, just halogen, so there you go. Both works, high beam and low beam. And this is an LED version of, uh, now on LEDs you would have plus and minus on the connector so make sure you put plus and minus correctly otherwise you could fry the circuitry so plus minus lights up uh, LEDs have a problem where um, they don't always uh, get recognized by the automobiles electronics and if you put in LED where you have normal the design for a normal uh, filament type bulb uh, you could get a, 
uh, light on the dash saying that there is an issue with uh, a light or uh, it'll flicker you must have seen uh, if you've noticed so let's get these testing so this HID has a blue um, well I don't know if this is a separator I guess and uh, this one will light up blue minus goes on the metal plus goes on here and you can see it lights up blue color and you can hear this hissing noise and the hissing noise will dissipate with time that's uh, when the light achieves its full intensity so this light is compatible now not all lights I just had a small short circuit there uh, not all lights will um, be driven by this uh, inverter and I'll show you so this one is compatible and it gets hot be careful but this one is not compatible you can still test it let's see minus plus see it goes out which means this light is designed for a different driver it still fits in the socket they will all fit in the socket but it's designed for a different voltage it doesn't fry anything it just turns on the driver electronics sees that it's the wrong uh, light or something wrong with the light and it just shuts the electricity off so uh, this one is incorrect so it doesn't work as long um, that's how you do it so let's test another one minus plus uh, one thing to note this electronics does produce heat and it will get hot over time uh, original design uh, requires that uh, um, there is a heat sink placed on uh, uh, on this inverter so make sure that you don't run it for very long so there you have it see nothing goes out the light initially has different colors and then it stabilizes at normal uh, bright brightness All right. Hopefully, this helps somebody. You can pick up these units really cheap. I mean, really cheap. Uh, if you're lucky, you can get it for like five bucks. And uh, because these units don't really, rarely they go bad. And if you pick up a bad one, well, pick up a different one. So this is what the unit is and uh, it's a one piece with the connector for the light uh, very simple hopefully this helps somebody solve a mystery or a problem without having to have too much investment well provided you have some kind of power source you can just use a 12 volt battery just make sure plus and minus is uh, properly connected Thank you for watching give me a like if you like my video it's a very simple video very straightforward enjoy subscribe and save money